You all want your children to be prepared for life after graduation. Having the right mindset and knowing how to set goals are keys to success. At Starkey Elementary in Seminole, that preparation starts in kindergarten. It's just one reason why Starkey is our 10 News School of the Week powered by Duke Energy Florida. This morning, Sean Stryker is live out there at the school with a lot of kiddos who woke up early, Sean. <laughs> They did, yeah. I'm, I'm hanging out with the, the Crazy 8 Club. Uh, this is an after-school program, and we're playing a game. Basically, they have to throw the beanbags onto the, the dartboard, and they try to add up to 40, right? So right now, we're at 24, and I'm not going to help them out any, and I get two. The, okay, 26. Look, this is a lot of fun, but I want to talk about avid real quick most of you know avid as a high school class last week we featured a middle school with uh, an avid program but here at starkey elementary school they also learn the avid way avid is an acronym for advancement via individual determination in other words moving up through your own individual hard work uh, in avid elementary specifically we're talking about study skills organization skills and collaboration skills AVID is not a class at Starkey Elementary. Teachers infuse these concepts into their lessons. I'm a builder because I can build your second house. You can build my second house, yeah, I like that. And then I can build, I can build like a pizza place. In this kindergarten class, students share with each other jobs they'd like to have. In fifth grade, students research colleges and the admission and application process and the cost, that's the most surprising thing. AVID is still relatively new at Starkey, but already positively impacting students. Since we've implemented AVID, it's just really brought an excitement to learning. It's helped keep students engaged, and it's really helped us celebrate success and goal setting. Would you like a shape and a dropper? Yeah, so they do a lot of really cool things out here. We're, uh, we're going to feature a lot of their after-school programs this morning. Uh, so you can see a lot of different things going on for students with different, <laughs> with different, di different interests. Right now I'm with the uh, science club and we're working on surface tension, right? So what do we do? You got to take the dropper and we fill it up with water and then they try to see how much water they can put on top of different shapes, how many drops. And that teaches them a lot about that surface tension, how many different, uh, how many different drops that... There you go. Look, we got a couple drops on this one. That one looks like a hexagon or not. I got to learn my shapes. We're having a lot of fun out here. Starkey Elementary School um, making a little bit of a mess, but hey, that's all right. We're learning about science. It's all right to make a mess when you're learning about science. Absolutely. It's all right to make a mess when you're in elementary school, too. All right, Sean, thanks so much. I can't wait to see what else they're doing out there at Stargate early this morning. We have amazing schools in the Bay Area. Tell us what's happening in your classroom. You can reach out to us by sending us an email at 10schools at WTSP.com.